guys, welcome back to another video. I am excited for today's review because it's a Dan Wesson DWX. Now this is basically a baby between CZ 1911 or 2011 and I am just beyond excited for it. Um, I have not shot it yet, cameraman has. He thinks I am gonna fall in love with it so I am really excited to get into it. I do have my notes with me because I do not wanna miss anything on here so we're gonna just jump straight into this review. We're gonna take a look right up here. It does have the fiber optic front with a blacked out rear with adjustable windage and elevation. It also has anti-glare serrations on top as well and with the serrations on the front and back. Now it has a Picatinny rail, a full Picatinny rail right down here, which I do like. Now, one thing I do wanna show is the barrel. This is an inverted crown bull barrel. So you normally don't see something like this. So I do wanna point that out. Now this barrel is five inches long. We're gonna move over here to the trigger. If you see the trigger is a little bit different, that is because it is a flat K style trigger. They wanted to add their own little thing to it. So I do like that. It's a little special touch and the safety is ambi. So anybody out there just curious, this is an ambi safety and the mag release right over here, it is reversible. So if you wanna to switch to the other side, you are more than welcome to. For me personally, it is a little difficult to be able to use a mag release. I do think it is because this is new, but this is just a personal preference. Nothing wrong with the gun. It's just a little bit harder for me to use it. But if we put a magazine in it, push it out, falls straight out, it is very smooth. I do love how it is. Now we're gonna move on to the texture on the grip. This is a very, very aggressive grip is what I wanna stress out because of it being a CZ grip it has that hold on there and it's gonna be very aggressive. So by the end of this video, I'm probably gonna have Mark on my hands because of how aggressive this is. Um, but I am so excited to jump into this. I do wanna mention it does come with two, uh, two rounded eight or 19 round magazines with it. I do wanna preface that I did find this on their website that it is also compatible with the CZP 10F or the P09 double stack magazine. So if you have those at home that is compatible with this gun, we do not have it. So we're just sticking with these two for today, but we're gonna go ahead, load up these magazines and get straight into the shooting because I cannot honestly wait any longer. So today we will be using the Cellar and Bellet in 124 grains. This is the ammunition we will be shooting with. So we're gonna go ahead and load our magazines, get started. I, like I said, I am beyond excited. I have not um, shot it yet. We've already put about 100 rounds through it. Um, so we're gonna do 100 rounds again. So far this um, magazine is easy for me to load. So we're gonna just finish loading these two up and jump straight into shooting. Alrighty, so we got both of our magazines loaded. I cannot wait any longer, so we're just honestly gonna just jump straight into this. I am sorry if I am a bit cold. Um, Texas decided to do a 180 and become cold instead of hot, so I might shake a little bit, so I do apologize. This is beautiful. I have to say, that was that was beautiful. I love that. Um, I think I fell in love once again, but I think we're just gonna jump straight into the second magazine because oh my god, the, I words really cannot describe how I feel right now. This gun is amazing. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Oh my bad. Just damn, that's all I can say, honestly, at this point. Um, one thing I will say, this trigger, it I feel like there's not a trigger at all. I did flinch a little bit, um, just because I, I don't know, this trigger's just amazing. I am in love with this gun. I will say that I'm excited. We're gonna go load up the magazines again and just get more shooting. Maybe go a little bit further back. I wanna test this, but I am, honestly, this is my love now. This is all I'm gonna say, this is my true love. So we're gonna go get more magazines loaded and be, get into more shooting. Alrighty, I just have no words after shooting all of it. I'm just excited to get into it. But before getting into more shooting, I do wanna go over a few things. I do love the sights on here. One thing I have not talked about much is the safety. Now the safety is right here. Um, now I do have a little bit of a shorter thumb. So right here, it is the safety. 
and then the slide release is right here. So if I'm trying to hit the slide release, the safety is right here. So my thumb is the first thing to touch it when I'm trying to hit the slide release, but that's just a personal thing that I have trouble with that I'm gonna have to reach a little bit further out because I'm touching the safety first, but the safety is good. I do love it. Um, I do like that it's on both sides, but that's the only thing from me personally, just because with someone with a little bit of shorter thumb, just keep that in mind that you will be hitting the safety first before the slide release, if that is what you are aiming for. I did that a second ago, um, so just keep that in mind. But overall, I'm in love. This is my baby right now. So enough talking, let's get into more shooting. Now the slides, pulling it back, it's easy. I love it. And we did scoot a little bit further back. So we're gonna see how well it holds up. Like I keep saying, this is beautiful. Um, now this mag release, it's starting to get a little bit better. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we did just purchase this, so I do think it was a little bit difficult for me, um, but it is wonderful. Now I do want to show you what I was meaning by, so my thumb is right here and this is, the first thing I am touching is the safety, but this is what I'm trying to go for. So that's what I'm meaning by, it's a little bit difficult for me. So that's one thing I have to keep in mind about. So just keep that in mind out there. If you have a bit of a shorter thumb, watch out for that. But let's get into a little bit more shooting. a few but I am I'm just in love that's all I can say is I'm in love right now I am loving this um, we're gonna get a little bit more magazines loaded up I think I'm also have cameraman try because he loves shooting this thing but he's gonna do it with a little bit more distance so we're gonna get these loaded again and then go with a little bit more distance and give y'all more re review over this Alrighty, so I don't know if I mentioned it already or not, but this thing has a very lack of recoil on it. I don't know if you've been watching and noticing it stayed flat. So I'm gonna demonstrate real quick to show y'all how there has been barely any recoil on this thing. Alrighty, one thing I will say, I did miss a few shots there, but one thing I will say, um, there's barely anything. Typically with a gun, if there is any recoil, I can notice, I can tell very easily if there is any on there with me being a little bit smaller, barely showing, barely telling. So I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna try to go for a little target. I have difficulties typically shooting at it at such a close range with a pistol. So I'm gonna see if we can hit it with this thing. So let's test it out. Oh yeah. Okay, I missed. Let's go back to the larger one. So loving it. Stays flat, barely in recoil, but I am enjoying this. I think I'm gonna switch off to cameraman, let him shoot with a little bit more further distance. He's gonna give his opinion on it, but this is my baby now. This is my new baby. Um, I am loving this thing. I can't wait to shoot a little bit more out of this, but we're gonna switch off and let him show you what, how this does with the distance. All right, guys, now that it's my turn to talk about the Dan, Dan Wesson DWX for a minute. Um, so I know Bianca mentioned it, but I don't think she showed you guys. So this thing does have a bull barrel and it actually mates up to the slide very, very well. There's very minimal movement on kind of where the crown is right there. And it's also flush cut. So it actually looks pretty dang cool. Um, the serrations on the slide work very, very well. And uh, it has uh, serrations up top also to cut down with glare. Um, never really noticed it at all. But um, uh, the rear side is actually directly off of a CZ Shadow 2. So these sights pretty much rock, man. And uh, the grip is CZ Shadow 2. As you can tell, the grips that go on here actually can take CZ Shadow 2 grips, which is pretty cool, which is, it makes it weird 
that it takes P10F magazines instead of CZ75 magazines like the CZ Shadow 2, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, the mag release is very extended. It works very well for me. I know Bianca said she was having a little bit of an issue with it. I have no real issue with it. Um, works really well, drops the magazine free, so no problems there. Um, I guess that's enough talking, guys. Let's get into some shooting. So let's see how this goes. Oh, we're at about 10-ish yards. Here we go, right here, 10-ish yards. Let's see. Not bad. Let's back up a little bit more. This is probably like uh, 25, 30-ish yards. Let's see how this goes. We're out, but it's good. We got another magazine, so let's keep it moving. And let's see. This is probably 40-ish. Let's give it a shot. This is dumb easy. I mean, if you're looking for a gun to just like, basically all you're gonna do with this is target practice. I mean, you could put a flashlight on it and use it for home defense, but there's no way you're carrying this thing. It's way too heavy. But the weight makes it so flat that it's not even funny. And it's not even a challenge at all, even at 40 yards to hit this. So let's keep going. Let's see what we can do today. Let's back up. This is probably 55-ish mm, about right here. So let's give this a shot. And we'll just end it right here. So let's see how this goes. That's all me. All right, so I didn't feel like I represented this gun too well at uh, about 55 yards here, so I'm gonna give it another shot and see how this one goes. A little better that time but either way i like this gun a whole lot and bianca likes it a whole lot and i'm sure we're gonna fight over it but uh i'm gonna give it back to her for now not to keep but for now Alrighty. so final thoughts over this is i am in love this is my baby um i've mentioned it all the time that i love a gun but this is actually number one nothing is gonna i want to see if something's gonna beat this but this is number one no this is going to be my baby. This is the best way for me to put it. Um, I know cameraman said it will be mine for now, but it is, this is my baby. It's not his. This is going to be my baby. Um, but overall, this, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but this is a bit on the heavier side. So this is not light at all. This is a lot heavy. Um, so just keep it in mind if you are a smaller person like me, it is going to have some weight to it, but it does not have any recoil at all because of with it being heavy. So I do enjoy that. Um, the trigger I mentioned, I do love the trigger. I actually love the color and the style, how the trigger matches the grip right here. I do like that matching, um, but the trigger is amazing. It is light. And then we are wanting to add some flashlights and extra stuff on here. So I can't wait what more we do with this. Um, the texture on the grip, it is very aggressive, like I did mention in the video, but I do like that. I do like the grip. It, it is doesn't feel the best sometimes in my hand but you know i do want that extra texture on there so i know i have a firm grip on there but overall it is amazing um after a while this trigger or not the trigger the mag release is actually a lot easier for me to use now i do like it you see that it slides out very easily so overall i do love it this is actually the bag that it comes in it's a cute little 
Dan Wesson little bag. Um, it does come with a little information, all that stuff has a little compartment right here. So this is what's all in it along with the two magazines. But overall, I did enjoy shooting this gun. We are going to do an update review once, probably once we get to a thousand. Also with all the upgrades and everything, we're going to add on to it. But I enjoyed shooting this today. Um, I wish it would last a little bit longer, but it's okay. I'm going to have a little bit more fun with it in the future. And I can't wait for us to do an update on it. But that's going to be today's review over it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Texas Latina Tactical, as well as Patreon, Texas Latina Tactical. But we'll see you all next time. Bye.